For the purpose of genetic engineering in plants, well, plants are living creatures. As such, they have DNA. Genetic engineering is working by writing things into DNA. So if we want to make something or if we want to study something, we write it into the DNA and stick that DNA in some plant cells. And now when the plant, plant grows up, it'll make what we told it to make. So say there's an enzyme in your body which helps break down red blood cells and you know, your doctor and scientists and you know, people who make drugs, they're all interested in how this enzyme works. Well, we can take the genetic code for this enzyme, you know, what, which part of the DNA, which page in the book of DNA writes this enzyme, and we can put this into a plant, into a mango plant, and grow that plant. And now when that plant grows, not only will it be making mangoes and leaves and roots and bark, it'll also be making this little, you know, this enzyme, this human enzyme, uh, uh, inside of it. So when we squish up the plant and get all of its juices, somewhere in there is this human enzyme for breaking down blood cells. All we have to do is just purify that and get rid of everything else that we don't want. So in that sense, plants can be used as anything from little factories or big factories to produce what we want them to produce, or um, as alternative organisms to study diseases in. You know, how does this disease progress on a molecular level? Because um, on a molecular level, you know, the cells aren't really that different between creatures.